Hello furry folks. Today we have Matos playing versus Dark Lion King. This is a top 20 replay. Top 10 replay maybe? They're both very very good players. Matos is notorious for being a Lost Souls what they call lamer. I don't care. He plays Lost Souls and this time he is not. Or maybe recently he hasn't been. I don't know. I don't follow what goes on. For some odd reason they both take an outside well and Matos plays phase tower obviously because that is tremendous against nature. Next squad ready. I am posting this replay because of the color no. disadvantage Matos has in tier 2 and I'm guessing he's winning. We Just a guess. I, I don't know. I don't even remember who sent me this or maybe I got it off BF cards. I don't remember. Point is, I remember the colors are dis are very not fair to Matos' hey, disadvantage, and I'm assuming he's going to win. It's just a guess. I know you guys asked me not to tell you, but I really don't know, but we'll see. So Matos finally takes an inside well, which is safe because he has a tower with 900 attack hanging out here. And Dark Lion King takes this well. Now normally spearmen, or whatever these are called, yeah, are very strong against shadow, but with phase towers, nah nah nah. Right, because shadow's all about these medium units, and Forsaken will just get Hurricane. But in this situation, it's really not going to work out. So, Dark Lion King was probably considering going here offensive, but now these phase towers are going to be a very big threat to his well. As the Dryad is doing the animation, everything around it still takes less damage, but... Yeah. Heal? I don't know. Heal now, now, now would be a perfect time for heal. Does he have power? Nope. No power for him. Dead Swift Claw. No, still dead Swift Claw, regardless. He should nasty this dread. That would be so... Oh, good root. He saw that coming. That would have been a great nasty. Anyhow, big win for Matos over here. And I'm assuming he's going to grab his second well and then go offensive. Probably gonna take another well and then go offensive. This is my prediction. Is a production. Ooh, is that a nasty? Oh, a nasty and a heal. I guess what came first, the nasty or the heal? I'm guessing the heal came first. But uh, yeah, phase spam. Okay. Wind More wind weavers. Uh, yeah, it's. It's not going to work. You just can't beat phase towers. They're too strong versus nature. They're very, very strong. Oh, good. Swift Claw attacking while it's being built. But again, the Noxes are just going to destroy it. Good heal. Ooh, look at that try. 13 HP. And Matos, as predicted, took another well. Dark Lion King followed with another well. So, oh, Matos takes a fourth well. Okay, now Dark Lion King has no choice but to go tier two. Unless he wants to come here and take a well. You never want to be that guy who has to grab all the outside wells. That's just not fun. The middle guy just does, does a little defense here, and he won the game. And he can go offensive there, there, there. Looks like we have a huge nature offensive, which again will fail just because of two phase towers. So. <coughs> oh, good job. <coughs> These spearmen are still on small attack. That seems like a fail to me. They should switch so that they could be more lethal against the Noxes, but looks like he's focusing them on the base tower anyhow. Uh, he's trying to take advantage of Matos taking that fourth well really fast. That can be Dread killed while still teleporting. And we're going to have a nasty here, or at least he wants the nasty. Dark Lion King did a good push there, but once this gets repaired and this gets up, it's going to be really hard to push now. Okay, I like watching people actually play a decent nature tier 1, so this is fun. And Matos goes tier 2. Bandits. Nasty. No. 
Ricky. The lava field here would be great. Am I wrong? Ooh, an aura and a lava field. That would be total sweetness. And now, lava field. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. And that's game. <laughs> You see, I, I because of the colors, I chose to cast it. I didn't realize that it was going to be such a simple trick to win the game, but okay. And of course, Darn Lion King is now going tier 2. Stonekin, which destroys bandits, but that doesn't really matter. Because, yeah. He's had a power wall advantage for quite some time. And now he has to defend this. Oh, he does have some good power, still. He's going to be forced 50 on the Cobalt trick right away. And then a Glacier Shell, it's another 50. He's going to be down to 130. Yep. Oink, whatever. Uh, why did he kill those? He should have motivated them, right? Yeah, he should have motivated those. I and mean, he usually carries Motivate, so I don't know why he didn't. Alright, let's see how this works out. Cobalt any second. Er, Cobalt. Yeah. Yeah. That well's going down, baby. Down, baby. Good push by Matos. And dive, and it's gonna cobalt, yeah, but when you have two wells too close to each other, it becomes a nightmare versus bandits. All that attack power. But still, these things do amazing against nightcrawlers. Look how fast they die. But still, the well did drop, and I'm predicting this one's gonna go down also, because you cannot cobalt right after a glacier shell. Mato should be focusing everything on the well, and the well will drop. He's gonna use that to catch the... Oh! That must have been his original plan. Okay, first of all, let me, let me just catch you up on what happened here. What I'm guessing happened is Matos made a phoenix to kill any units and take out the well, because after Glacier Shell, you cannot cobalt. That was his plan. Dark Lion King very smartly made a light blade, because you can catch the phoenix and run away, and the phoenix keeps following the light blade, blah 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 blah, and then you finally let it dive over here and it does no damage, because light blade has a ton of health. So you wasted a phoenix. Matos saw that, so he quickly dove before the light blade could do the catch, even though the well still had glacier shells. So it was a disadvantage for Matos, but it could have been a lot worse if he let the light blade do the grab. But still, Matos has enough power and quickly brings another one. We're going to have that catch. There you go. And Matos quickly tries to get down the light blade. Yes, and he quickly gets down the light blade before the phoenix is wasted. And here comes another dive. I think that was a wasted phoenix, though, because you could have a cobalt, but of course not because of the power. Oh, wow. Yeah, good motivate. And they're going to take out this, and then finish up the wall, I guess. Yeah. At this point, Dark Lion King just keeps on having to spam building repairs, and that well will drop, and that will be game. Yep, well down. Matos should take this well so that Dark Lion King is completely confined to the air. No, Matos decides to play dirty and goes quick tier 3. And tier 3. Oh boy. And Dark Lion King does not like what he sees. Quick offensive, but it will not work. He does not have enough power to fight a tier 3 army. Even if he kicks a well, that's not going to matter because his orb is going to drop so fast. Boom! Mountaineer dazed. Not the best choice. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, that was a terrible lava field. <laughs> terrible. Uh, <laughs> did he score? Who did that? Master of the cult. So now they cannot attack, or else it will die. It has to walk around and gain its shield. Yeah. 
Okay, so the well will drop. But as I said, that's just not gonna help. Now with 100 power, he has to defend a tier 3 bandit attack. My goodness me, that's not gonna work. Ooh, an Ashbone also. Yeah. Another Ashbone. So he's gonna get two wells down. Beautiful. And then he loses. Alright, good game. <laughs> now what? Okay, good light blade, but as I said, now what? Let's see how this works out. Spirit Hunter. Spirit Hunters are actually very good versus uh, these guys. Because you lower their health and then they can't make the crawlers, but still. This is a rock solid defense, these Cultist Masters. At only 60 power and anything dies. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, now we can make Cultist Masters on the fly. There you go. There you go. And Dark Lion King just quits. Cool. Yeah, it was really the chair one that made it, so it really wasn't so cool. Uh, but still, nice game, and I'll see you guys in the next video.